all right so today we would be uh creating grass from a texture which we downloaded from the internet so how, how do you go about this it's uh, pretty straightforward i kind of found some tutorials online but um when i was trying to get into making hair but i figured out that most of them they, they were amazing by the way but most of them uh were not just as straightforward as you may really want them to be especially if you are just new or maybe you're new to hair or maybe you're new to my they might not be as uh, straightforward as you want them to be you know so i'm going to try as much as possible to make this as painless as possible so that you can get uh, your grasses or your hair up and running So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just select some points because we want to make um, grass. So I'm just going to select some points. Press B on your keyboard to turn on soft select. Yeah. And if you hold down B on your keyboard and use the middle mouse, you can increase the radius of the soft selection. Okay. So I just want to get this out there so that uh, if you are new to this, you will just have a painless time trying to make terrains working for you. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is just maybe just grab a, a, a chunk like this and just raise it up. This is just for, uh, what's it called? Excuse me. Uh, this is just for looks. Okay, it has nothing to do with the tutorial. Okay, so let's move on and add a texture. But before we do, uh, before we add a texture, my best advice is once you start off with XGen, okay, once you start off with XGen and you want to apply or you want to work with hair okay uh, i'll advise you create a new lambert shader okay just create a new lambert shader don't ask why just create it because sometimes xgen just messes things up especially when you when you uh when you use other shaders that are not um lambert okay so we have this now so the next thing which we're going to do is We'll go ahead, let's turn this out. We'll go ahead, select this object now. Then we'll go to generate an XGen because we want to create a description. Okay, so you can either do that there or you can come through, change your workspace, or you can come here and just create new description. So I'm just going to go through the shelf, create a new description like this, wait for it to come up. Oh, okay, I have a duct here. So you create a new description, this shows up, you click here. So I'm just going to simply call this uh, heel. Okay, so that's the description name and I'm going to call this grass. Okay, so I'm creating a new description and I'm putting it into, and I'm creating a new collection, which I'm calling grass. So I just want to single-handedly place this stuff or you can go ahead and use the random form. So once I hit on create, now you see I have a grass and I have heel. Okay. So now uh, next thing I'm going to do is actually I think this was supposed to be this way that way. So the description should have been heel and the collection. I mean the description should have been uh, grass. Why the correct co collection should have been heel? So my bad. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I will come through and just simply add um i'm just going to come through and add guides so these are just going to act as guides to point out where the hair should be placed in the scene so it's not a big problem for you to just simply click and and, and drop but something you may have seen severally on the internet is you know you get to select these and you start manipulating the ccv curves or i mean you start manipulating these things one by one but a cool way to just play with this is if you click on this button here, which is the sculpt button, you can hold down B on your keyboard and increase this. Okay, so now you've used B twice. And next thing we're going to do is you can come through and just simply shape uh, this how you want it to be. Now, if you are having issues shaping this, try and make sure that none of this is selected because if one of this is selected and then you start trying to shape the other stuff, it would not work okay so best that uh, best advice is try as much as possible to make sure nothing is selected and then yes you can now come through and start shaping uh, these things the way you want them to be 
so let me just come through and then let's do something like this so we're just we're just fondling we're just massaging this stuff uh slowly okay so let's just uh put this so all of these guides would point out to where your hair should be so if you're having issues uh positioning your hair you need these these guides because without these guides your hair might just face forward they might all be looking forward so let's just come through and you know just make sure that none of them is so straight because it adds to the beauty of how they should look okay so like i have this now if i right click and go over to uh, guides you will see how much guides it has and if you want to increase the number of guides you can just simply go over to object i mean you can just simply select the one which you want and now i can hit rebuild and say i want to make it like 10 and hit apply and if i right click and go over to guides you see i have about 10 different stuff going through actually it's not completely 10 it's i, I think it just makes it like one number out i have no idea why because if you count this it's supposed to be 10 so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine so normally it is supposed to be 10 but for some reason one uh one point is always out of place okay so that that is how you get to increase the number of uh ccv counts you can have so let's just rebuild this one more time and just simply make this five as it was before apply this and let me go ahead and reposition this to where it is supposed to be okay so other things you can do is you can use this you can use the scale to increase the scale reduce it and do what whatever you want to do with it so i'm just going to go ahead and just pull this up and let it be okay so with this done the next thing you may probably want to do is to simply I seem I, I don't seem to like how this looks so let's just uh, put this in place let's rebuild one more time okay cool so the next thing you may want to do now is to uh, simply generate the hair and see how it works but before we do that I mean generate the grass to see how it works but before we do that we know grasses have uh, blades and from what we've seen so far we've only seen that our entire mesh our entire grass like it is have this uh, squared like top and bottom thingy so I'm going to go ahead and just pick the tip and just tilt the tip down a little bit so now you can see how this tip looks okay then um, I can also come through and just taper this slightly you might also just want to keep this a little bit this way since you're going to tap taper it a little bit more so i can just taper it that much if the width is too much you can just turn down the width as well now if you're having issues of uh, moving these objects to another place the easiest way to do that is select the same tool if you hold down control click and drag it doesn't create a new one but it simply just positions it but without holding down control you create a new one okay so if you want to move another one just simply click you know and just position it to where you want and that's how it works so now we've gotten these parts out of the way the next thing which we're going to do is just we are um, we're going to just simply refresh this so that we can see how much hair we have and if you go over to the preview and you say only primitive in view then only the primitives that are in view would be rendered okay or will be um generated so if i right click and say only primitive in view and right and 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 refresh this you see that these ones are lost but if i turn this off and just refresh all of them are visible okay just for computational issues that's why we just turn this off mm -hmm. we turn it on so i'm just going to turn that on come over here increase the number of um, grasses I want so let's just go ahead and make this 70 and let's also refresh this to see how much grass we have and this is as good as it gets for us now so when you start uh, changing 
oh, once you once you start making changes to this and you refresh this you see that the changes apply automatically so this is just way way simpler to to do than uh, picking the curves one by one and and playing with them okay so now we have this and i think that's basically all we need for now so i'm just going to turn this on and see how it looks and there we go so now to the main part how do you apply color or how do you apply texture to this object so i'm just selecting this object as it is and then the next thing which i'm going to do now is i'll go all the way down here if i go over to the preview i can go all the way i can switch this to Arnold renderer since it's the renderer i want to use right now and then i would come over here and where we have the custom shader parameter that is where i would add the custom shader parameter i want so for this i'm just going to call this grass so i'm just going to call this grass color and i'm going to switch this to color not float it's very important to switch this to color and not float okay so i'm going to click on add and also i would come through and decide to paint a map now painting this map is just one way to get your feet right into how you can apply this stuff so just for uh some just to fulfill the righteousness of doing this we're just going to play around and, and, and do this okay now we're doing this i can save this with my brush still turned on or still active i'm going to go ahead and bring out the hyper shade and if you notice once i start painting if i click the brush now and once i start painting automatically i have this lumber three in the viewport okay and you see it's tied to this map okay so what i would do now is i'm going to select the lambert 3 as it is and i'm going to come through and select this plane select lambert 3 and assign the lambert 3 to the plane it may not make sense right now but listen kids it's gonna work okay so i'm just going to apply that to the plane and once i'm done applying that to the plane the next thing i'll do is to bring in my grass texture so i'll just go ahead and launch my grass texture so let's go ahead and find it real quick i have it somewhere in the download okay so i have this uh, grass texture here but then you see that uh even with adding this grass texture you don't see that stuff happening there okay so the next thing which we're going to do now is because we still have this uh stuff here i'm going to just simply come through and hit save okay so once i hit save i would come over here click on this um expression sign and change this to 100 i'm going to hit apply and accept and still save this okay so with this done now we can go ahead and just attach an ai standard here or you can use an ai standard shader uh, surface shader and i'm going to bring in an ai user color user data color sorry and with this user data color i'm going to plug this data color into the base color and i will come through and just simply copy this color grass which was the attribute we created earlier and i'm going to just simply copy that color grass come through give me a second go over to this part where i have the uh, ai user data color and paste oh pasted the wrong one sorry so i'm just going to come through copy this come here and paste it's as simple as that and now once we just uh come around let's save this one more time so once we come through and select this object as it is bring back our hyper shade right click and assign this you would notice automatically that it turns to this black why it's turning black is because melanin is turned on so i'm just going to turn melanin all the way off let's just save this one more time select this object as it is let's refresh this go over to arnold fire arnold up Put in a dome light and there you go 
Okay. So now we have our amazing looking grass. So let's just stop this through and come around here. I think the the, the I, I think the the width is too much so I'm just going to turn down the width a little bit and I also think the length might be a bit too much so let's turn down the length a tiny bit and I guess we should increase this to about 120 so that we can have more grass around and there you go so if I fire an old up one more time let's bring it right into the view and there you have it okay so it's totally up to you uh how you style your object so if you choose to style this object uh if you choose to style this differently your grasses will turn out differently but the main thing or uh, your main takeaway is you've seen how you can get your feet wet into or how you can get your feet wet in uh xgen and also how you can create um hair or grasses from a texture that's already existing so with this you can go ahead apply a texture to your character and then create hairs out of those characters way way easier and other things i would love to talk to you about now is now you have this done you can let's just go ahead and just uh, keep a screenshot of this and minimize this now you have this, you can also come through, go over to the modify and choose to add some sort of modifiers to this. So maybe if you want to add a noise, you can add a noise modifier and then you can come through and play with the frequency or you can also play with uh, the magnitude of the noise, how you want the noise to, to be. So other things are also there for you to play with, but I think for just this, you can uh, go ahead and just make this, uh, let's say, 1.8 should be cool so just something sub 2 not so much so just make it 1.8 and then you can also come through and paint a noise map where you don't want noises to to happen so this is how you can get your stuff done and if you have questions about this uh, please don't hesitate to ask and i'll do my best to get back to you guys and see you guys later peace Hi, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. If there are things that you wanted to talk about, put them in the comment section down below. If you have questions regarding these tutorials or any related tutorial like this, also don't forget to put them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And if you want to see more contents like this, don't forget to turn on the notification and we'll see you guys later. Peace.